one text tonight. I have nine different texts with one thought that connects all of them. That thought, <clears throat> what is uh, consistent in all nine of these passages of Scripture, is all things. Something about Jesus that is all-inclusive. And as I was putting these things together, the thought occurred to me that <clears throat> what is what is said of Jesus can only be said of Jesus. He is the, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He is, uh, in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So, see, that can't be, if that's true of him, it can't be said of, of anyone else. And so it is with these, these phrases, all, when it's said of Jesus, means it can't be said of, of anyone else. Now connect that to in, in connecting that to this table, we, we come <clears throat> as oft as you do it, Jesus said, do this in, in remembrance of me. Now that, sh that should at least tell us that we're not going to exhaust remembering Jesus. We're not, we're not ever going to get to the end or to the bottom. As oft as you do it, he didn't. Now men regulate how, how, or how seldom, we should say, men regulate how seldom, but Jesus said how oft, kind of a different emphasis. He said how oft you do, this, as often as you do this, do it in, re, in remembrance of, of me. The first text is John 1, 3, and it contains this phrase, that all things were made by him. Everything. There's nothing that we can see, nothing we can find, nothing we can touch, that wasn't made by him. All things were made by him. Now, with regards to his, his work of salvation, th this world was prepared by Jesus for Jesus to use. Yeah. In fact, that's what the, the Apostle Paul said. All things were created by him and for him. Mm -hmm. So as, as the creator, he was, and this is stated several times in Scripture by uh, John and in the book of Hebrews and First uh, John and the Gospel of John, he was created all things. He made this world for himself to to work out redemption, to do the work that God gave him to do. So all things were created by him. Secondly, Matthew twenty eight, eighteen. All power in heaven and earth is given to me. It, you, we start to see also. In what's common in all these things is that they all they're all complementary to one another. Oh, he created all things. All power in heaven and on earth is is given to him presently. So technically speaking, in in an ultimate sense, there are no rivals to Jesus. Now, there are you know you know Satan of course he when he exerts power it's it is against the saints and it is against the kingdom of God. But he can only exert it where Jesus allows. Amen. So his ultimately, all power in heaven and earth is given unto him. If if Romans chapter eight is right, if if Paul Paul was accurate when he said that all things work together for, for the good of them that love God, then he has to have all power. Amen. He has to, and and he does. Ephesians one twenty two, <clears throat> he's head over all things. To the church. That's very similar to Matthew 28. All power in heaven and earth. Ephesians 1.22. He's head over all things to the church. But see the, the focus of he's been made head over all. He's the authority over, over all things. Every, everyone and everything else answers to him. And it's in the interest of the church. He's head over all things to the church. That, that, that's, why, that's why it's been given to him. See, so the, the, the father gave this, this eternal work to the son, and with the work, he gave him to be head over all things because that's what he needed to carry out the work. He needed to be head over all things to the church. So Jesus, as head over all things, he's able, he rallies all, all heavenly power. He can rally, rally it together in the interest of the church, and he can turn, just like God turned what happened to Joseph he turned it around for good. It was meant for evil. You see, he, as head over all things, the Lord is able to turn what men mean for evil against you. He can turn it and turn it into your good. He's head over all things. Ephesians 1, 3. 
all spiritual blessings are, he's blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ, all of them. And I, I always, rem almost always remember Brother Tim when I read this text. He says, that means there aren't any others. Amen. He gave them all in Christ. Amen. He, that means Jesus is the sole custodian of blessing. Yeah. I, I think there's a, a, a lot of, of guilt with regards to blessing and making blessing a thing too small. When it when, when what men call blessing, you have to leave here. When you leave the world, we need a bigger definition yeah. of blessing. Right. He has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places yeah. in Christ. Yeah. Jesus is the custodian of all blessings. Colossians 2, 3. All, he, he is hidden. All, in him are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. All of them, they're, they're hid in there. So in other words, they have, to be, they have to be shown. You have to be directed to them because they're, they're hid. Now, another way of looking at that is that you have to be uh, asking and seeking and knocking before. In other words, no one stumbles on these things because they're hid. They're hid in Christ. We, could, we can accurately say then that there are no pearls or treasure chests outside of Jesus. Amen. We could also say that whatever is called wisdom and knowledge outside of Christ is falsely so called because all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hid in Christ. Exclusive ownership. Here's another, John 5, 22. The father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment to the son. All of it. He's handed over. And in speaking as a man, the father doesn't worry about it. Because he's, he's given it all over. He, he trusts the Son with, with all judgment. <clears throat> so Jesus holds both the balances of the kingdom and the scepter of the kingdom. Because all, all judgment has been Amen. handed over to him. <clears throat> so the, there, there is no jury trial. He's the all judgment belongs to the Son. But I... I just, I just love how this has been presented to us. That we're, this is the one we're trusting. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 1, verse 2. He's the heir of all things. That means he's the son. If he's the heir, then he is, he is the son. He is the, the rightful possessor of heaven and earth, of judgment, of treasures and wisdom, and of power, and of of heaven and earth, because he's the son. He's the heir of, of all things. Hebrews 1.3, he's upholding all things by the word of his power. He is presently faithfully sustaining his own creation. We can see the ca calendars are, are calculated on this upholding all things by the word of his power. Our 60-minute our hour and our 24-hour day is calculated on his faithfulness, that he is upholding all things by the, by the word of his power. Now, th in, in this creation, see, is not Jesus' main work. I like to think of it this way. Is he's, he's upholding all things here that we, that we see, the rising and the setting of the sun and the changing and, and cycling of the seasons and, and uh, so on. That he's, he's upholding all this by the word of his power so that, he can do the will of his father. Yes. Amen. And so my conclusion as we are coming to this table <clears throat> is actually Paul's conclusion. You are complete in him. Yes. There is nothing needful elsewhere. Amen. Amen. That's why we come to this table to remember Jesus. <clears throat> and it's not, a, it's not a burden to come and remember. It's, it's a delight. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for these things that you have made known to us. We, we ask that you would give us strength now as we, as we come to this table uh, to put aside the distractions and, and hindrances, uh, any, any thoughts that would, uh, that would take us away from, from Jesus. We pray that you would give us strength to remember. Uh, give us grace to, uh, to press in, to press forward, and to become... Uh, to become um, uh, better at remembering, 
uh, quicker at putting off uh, distractions and, and hindrances. And we thank you, Lord, for the promises that you have given us concerning this table, the, the, the cup of blessing and the New Testament in his blood, and that uh, he, he is here with us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.